Welcome to the demonstration of the Support Save feature on a Ruckus ICX switch. The Support Save feature is very similar to the Show Tech support. Uh, the added benefit to the Support Save feature is you can add custom commands to the output, but the biggest benefit is that uh, with Show Tech support, you could only display all of the output out to the console and you could capture that output and then send it off or you can uh, cut and paste it from the, the console screen or something like that. But with Support Save, you can actually TFTP that to an external server and have all that information collected uh, and sent separately over to that server and easily sent to you know one of your uh, text import representatives or someone who's looking for information about your uh, switch to help diagnose a problem or something along those lines. So in that regard, it's slightly better than the Show Tech Support feature. So let's take a look at the Support Save. So with the support save, um, you can you'll typically do the all option, which collects the OS platform L2, L3 core and system logs. But if you were specifically looking at one problem area, for example, L2, if this is only running layer two related uh, configurations and there is no layer three, uh, you might consider something like that. But in most cases, you'll probably just run the all option. And then you have these ones where you can add, delete, and list custom commands. You can add commands to this that will execute your own customized uh, support save output for you. So uh, that's an option for you as well. Let's take a look at that. So if you do the support save list custom command option, uh, you can see there are 32 indexes here that you can put in 32 separate commands and have them run again as your own customized support save output for yourself. Um, so that's one option. But you know, most of the time, like I said, you'll run a support save all. So let's go ahead and run one real quick. So when you run this option, you get the option of sending it to a TFTP server or to the display, which will display on the, on the terminal console. So let's go ahead and run one on the display so you can see what output comes out from this or how much output comes out from this. Okay, so that was pretty quick. That support save completed in three seconds. Um, so, but it's a lot of information. The, you know, if we look back through this, um, we've collected a lot of data here. And you know, if you didn't have all of your output from your console automatically saved off to a file, uh, this would be a large piece of information, a large chunk of data to copy and paste into a file to send off for someone who wants to analyze it. So the, it's definitely a better option probably for the TFTP option. And that way those files will be sent over and they're broken up and modularized by those uh, different groups so that someone over the technical support center, knowing what they're looking for, could only look at specific information if they wanted to and filter out a lot of the extra noise and a lot of the extra data that's in here. So let's go ahead and run that and see what happens at my TFTP server when we do this process. And my TFTP server, so again, our options are display or TFTP server is 10.10.200.100. And let's see what other options we get here. So we, get the, we have to identify where we're gonna send this. Just say the root, and that's what we're gonna do here. But we can put within quotes a directory structure of where we want this to go on the TFTP server. Uh, we'll just go with the default here. And then the next option, and this is optional, is to have a tag added to the support save. So maybe if you're sending support save information from multiple switches, you might run the switch name or something along those lines to identify which support save files are from which device. So that's one option for this. We're not gonna do that here. We're just gonna go ahead and hit return, and then we'll watch what this does on my TFTP server. So we're seeing all these files coming into my TFTP server. They're all different files. They're all saved. That completed again in three seconds. If we look at the log viewer here, uh, we can see a lot of these files. Um, and they're all sent here in gzip format. So they're compressed, and that way they make them small and easy to send off. And at the Technical Support Center, they can unzip those and pull out the information they need and, uh, and have all the information collected for troubleshooting or diagnosing an issue. So that's the support save feature. You can see it's quite helpful. It allows you to send this information out to a TFTP server. It gave you some options for adding customized commands or customized support save output. You can save it to the console as well, but I don't recommend it, especially if you're connected through a serial port, because through a serial connection, that, that data is going to say it completed in about three seconds, but it'll actually take 
uh, probably more like 30 to 45 seconds or maybe even up to a minute. So you'll want to do that either over a Telnet session if you're going to capture it to a console or an SSH and that'll be a lot faster. Um, but TFTP is definitely the cleanest and easiest way to go. Well, thank you for viewing this demonstration. Hope you return for more demonstrations in the future. Thank you.